everybody thank you so much for tuning in this one is especially for the grade 12s going to be doing geography more particular geomorphology and then you know just to narrow it down a bit we're going to be doing factors affecting infiltration and runoff as well as like drainage density because all of those things link so yeah if you haven't liked subscribed please do see all the other videos they could help you ace your exams and yeah today i just felt like being formal <laughs> for those of you who have been watching if it's your first time yeah i guess i'm gonna be doing this a bit more often now but yeah let's get straight into it then okay so the first factor that we're gonna start off with is porosity for those of you who don't know what porosity is it's basically the amount of spaces in a rock so for example a porous rock we'd say is a rock that has a lot of spaces in it so therefore like it's easy for water to go through and then a rock that's not porous is more solid and doesn't have as many as many holes so yeah that was just a brief definition so porosity affects runoff in, and infiltration in a way that if a rock is very porous meaning it has a lot of air spaces water will be able to go through it you know like when it drains and like the rocks underground are porous so the rock the water will be able to go through the rock and then more infiltration will happen therefore there will be less runoff so if a rock has high porosity you will expe expect <laughs> more infiltration and less runoff okay yeah so that's just basically the first factor that influences i guess drainage density the second factor is the slope so on a gentle slope which is like straight level sort of you will expect to find more infiltration because the water has more time to seep in whereas on a steep slope you will expect to find more runoff because the water is running down so it doesn't really get time to penetrate the surface and go in so that's why on a steep slope you're gonna have more runoff whereas on a gentle slope you're gonna have more infiltration so it's very important to know that and they obviously will not ask you like that they're gonna ask you to apply it maybe like in drainage um, drainage basins or they're going to ask you to compare it in an urban area or in a rural area so but you just need to understand these factors and you'll see that applying it is just a breeze okay so now we move on to the next factor is vegetation okay so vegetation you know vegetation has roots right and those roots absorb water so if an area or a region has more vegetation then there will be more infiltration because basically the roots are gonna absorb the water from the soil so yeah so there's gonna be more infiltration in an area that has a lot of vegetation whereas an area that doesn't have a lot of vegetation or doesn't have vegetation at all will have more runoff because there's no vegetation and soil to basically suck in that water from the rainfall so yeah that's a pretty simple one they could ask you maybe like um what's the difference between the drainage den what would you expect the difference de uh, density to be in an urban area and in a rural area and in most cases rural areas have more vegetation so rural areas would have more infiltration but that's obviously just like a hypothetical situation. I'm sure they will be more specific. And then also uh, another um, factor that influences infiltration and runoff is time. And then that we can further subdivide it into like the nature of the rainfall and the amount of the rainfall. So if there's like a thunderstorm and it's a heavy, fast rain, it's just like, it just rains there will be more runoff because there there isn't enough time for all the water to be infiltrated properly whereas if it's your normal calm rain that happens over a long period of time there will be more infiltration 
so that's a thing so if it's more flashy like floods and stuff like that you'll definitely get more runoff as you've noticed like when there's a flood the streets just go crazy because of all the rain <laughs> whereas if it's a nice calm gentle rain it's not as bad because the water is infiltrated so yeah those are the four important factors there's also stuff like um surfaces where there's um imper imper impermeable surfaces basically meaning a surface where water cannot go through there will be more runoff because obviously the water can't go through whereas if the surface is permeable meaning that substances can go through such as water there will be more infiltration yeah just like think of that when you think of like drainage density and you think of like the difference in rainfall patterns between urban areas and rural areas okay now how all of this links in with like drainage density okay just firstly a definition drainage density is um the number of streams in a drainage basin so the more streams there are in a drainage basin the higher the drainage density and the less streams that there are in a drainage basin is the lower the drainage density now how all of those factors um influence this <laughs> yeah my words are kind of like running away from me okay but yeah so if there's high infiltration where basically a lot of the water is infiltrated in the soil and stuff like that okay so if there's a high like infiltration like a lot of infiltration i don't know how i should say it yeah there's a lot of infiltration i don't know if that's like the correct english to use but anyways okay yeah. there's a lot of infiltration high degree of infiltration then there will be less rivers because obviously most of that water ends up in the ground and obviously less rivers that means a low drainage density so in an area where there's high infiltration just know that there's going to be a low drainage density and then in an area where there's high runoff a lot of a runoff <laughs> yeah um there's gonna be more rivers and obviously with more rivers that equals a higher drainage density so now the question that i always used to ask myself is like what's the point like what's the point of having a high drainage basin i mean drainage density i mean what's the point okay so as you know south africa is a water scarce country so if there's a high drainage density that means there's more streams obviously more rivers then there's more then we can get more water from those rivers whereas if the drainage density is low then we can't get water easily from rivers now we have to do things such as like getting it from groundwater like those pump things yeah i really should work on my terminology but yeah that's the thing so in my opinion it's not a fact in my opinion a high drainage density is good because it's easier for us to get water so yeah that's it today's one was short because this is short but yeah i hope you understand these factors don't just cram them because they will rarely ask you to list them but they will ask you in application where they will give you two scenarios where there's a high drainage density and a low drainage density and then they're going to be like what factors could um what factors led to maybe stream a i mean region a having a high drainage density and then you mentioned all those things there was a lot of uh, i mean there was little vegetation which meant that there was more runoff you know those those factors that we just mentioned yeah just know them understand them and you will pass guys i really hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of like my first one where i don't see myself so yeah, I hope you like it. Please drop your comments, suggestions, anything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.